Now what I can do is I can grab the, the this particular tool is called the rectangular marquee, much like in Photoshop. I'll select it, and now I can select a range of of uh, or actually uh, quite a variety of of objects that are on the screen. And notice that I happen to also select the window, and I certainly do not want to move that. So what I'm going to do is grab my arrow tool, and if I hold the shift key down and click it, then I can deselect it, much like Photoshop. Now that I have all these devices selected, what I can do is I can click Control C to copy. Now I can select Control V, and it pastes them slightly offset, and the offset happens to be 10 pixels, I believe, or at least 10 movements. So if I use my up arrow key, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then, ah, notice, this is something that may happen to you. Let's go back down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I happened to copy a uh, slider track that was locked. So now when I, even though I was able to copy and paste it, I'm not able to move it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo by choosing Control Z and undo again and undo again and now I'm back to where I was. This is good for you to see. I made a mistake and you will as well and these are how I get around these types of things by utilizing different tools to do things very quickly. So now what I'll do is I will grab the arrow tool and I'm going to unlock uh, by choosing lock position and size, unchecking that. Now it's unlocked. Now I'll grab the rectangular marquee and I will select all of these again. Arrow tool, hold down the shift key, deselect. I happen to accidentally select the LCD display. So now I have just what I want here. Okay. Now at this point, Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and here we go. Now we can move them around. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is the offset when it pastes. And now we can move over to the right. So I'm holding down the right arrow, and this is allowing me to move everything over much more rapidly. And you can see numerically, uh, on the X values, how they're moving over in increments of one pixel. Here we go. Now I have two channels. I'll tuck them in kind of close together. Now let's do this. Let's once again select the rectangular marquee. And I'm going to select all of these again. There we go. I happen to do it without getting the top panel. Control C, Control V to paste, and then 10 pixels up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I'm going to hold down the arrow key again. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a shortcut to actually make them move faster in Photoshop. It would be shift arrow to make them move in 10 pixel increments. Um, I that I tried that shortcut earlier and that didn't work, so there may be something else I'm not aware of. So for now, I'm just holding it down and allowing everything to move, and uh, it'll stay perfectly aligned. So once we have that, we will have four channels that we can work with. Okay, we're just about there. Getting real close. Okay, now I'm slightly out of range, and what we can do is we can grab the rectangular marquee again, and we'll select these items here, and deselect the panel, and let's tuck things in. I'm going to move them slightly over to the left, get them as close as I can in here. There we go. And now I will select with the rectangular marquee these items and deselect 
the panel and move them slightly over. Okay, now we have four channels that we managed to squeeze in there. And at this point, uh, let's move on to control.